Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review and here we have the Marvel Legends series uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Gwen, St Gwen Stacy or Spider-Gwen. So here's the front for you, you get that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse logo there with the spray painted Spider logo in the back and then you get the Gwen Stacy there. And you get the Marvel Legends logo on the top here, on the very top here you get that spray painted Spider logo. On the side you get that picture of Spider-Ham uh, from the movie. And then on the other side, you get that, um, a picture of Spider-Gwen on the other side. And then here's the back, if you guys want to pause and read this, if you want, you can. And you get that same picture of Gwen Stacy right there. And then here's all the figures in the wave to make Stilt Man. So you got Spider-Man, I mean, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which we've seen, I mean, we did a review on last time. And then we got Gwen Stacy here, and then we got Spider-Man, it's uh, spider Man or Peter B. Parker, Prowler, um, Hand Ninja, and then uh, Frogman. And then here's the bottom with the UCPI. And then besides that, let's crack, uh, crack her open. And here's Spider Gwen and Spider Ham out of the packaging here. So let's first start off with the accessories. So here's Stilt Man's torso here. So we'll go over that when we build them. Um, and then uh, Spider Gwen comes with two twipping hands. So we've seen these before. Um, Nothing real special about them besides they're all white. So, and she comes with two fists of hands. And then she gets uh, an extra head where it's masked and you get the nice pink inner hood there with the wet, nice blue webbing in the inside. I like that a lot. And this is a more accurate mask from these Into the Spider-Verse uh, movie because the eyes are crisp. Like they're just lines not faded like the other figure here we have, which we'll do a uh, comparison on here in a bit. And then the hood here is a little bit like it's fitted to her head, like it's attached to her head, which makes it look a lot better. And it's not such a pain to move around, which I'll show the other figure that I have here of her. But yeah. And then we got Spider Ham here. Um... I don't really consider this as a figure. The only thing about him that moves is his head. So you have to, so you get him to go left and right. He can look up a little bit there, down a little bit. You get his head to pivot. But besides that, that's all you got. And you gotta try to balance him. So if you like have it too far back, it's gonna fall over like that. If you have him too far forward, you got him fall forward. So you gotta like balance it. Just like that. So it's a bit of a pain, but um I like the look of it. Um we'll do a comparison with the other spider ham that I have here. Uh just a second. But you get the sculpted webbing around his face and that throughout the suit you got that spider logo on his chest here. You got his like two toes. Um you also get peg holes at the bottom. And then you get the nice crisp li black line around the eyes here. And then same thing on the nose, nostrils, with the white eyes and then white nostrils. Um, but yeah, and you get the ears here. You probably don't want to bend them because they'll probably snap off. And then you use the back with that back spider logo there, which is really cool. And you get his like little pigtail here. So yeah, uh, I wish that they would have done a little bit of articulation. For this figure but i understand why because the parts are so small and you can't really do much with them so and then if you're rough with it it'll snap so i understand that but then here's the other spider ham that i got here from the um the monster venom wave um so yeah this one he's a bit bigger but he has a lot more articulation like he has a sh uh, shin cut here he has he can move his arms he has a ball joint at the waist, and he, he can look left and right like the other spider ham here, and you get his wrist swivels. So yeah, I prefer this one, but this one's a way more accurate representation of spider ham in the movie. So yeah, I will definitely have him on my display with this. I mean, I put all my spider man figures on the display, so yeah. And then here's Spider-Gwen here. So this is a little bit of a different body mold, I believe. Um, I could tell because, well, we'll go over the difference here, but the uh, torso here is a little bit smaller from, uh, compared to the other one. And then the lines, I think, are a lot more crisp and the 
black that they have on her is matte black, not like the shiny black here of the other one, which I, like I said, I'll do a review on that. I mean, like a comparison here in a bit. And then they got the uh, pinless joint stuff going on here. I think she's got a bit of a bigger feet, so it's, she's more stable if she's standing up. And then you get that more accurate um, Gwen Stacy uh, head sculpt from the movie. Whereas the other one, it was more like a comic, which disappointed me because it was supposed to be off of the Spider-Verse movie, but it wasn't. So, but yeah, for the blonde, I like the blonde that they used, a uh, little vanilla, uh, like, uh, whatever you want to call it. The blonde hair uh, shade there that they got, and then they also got that little buzz cut going on right there where uh, Miles pulled her hair out. <laughs> And then you got that little extra hood here with the inner pink in the inside. And then you get the blue webs in the inside there. So that's pretty cool. And it's a separate uh, piece. So if you guys want to switch out the mask, you can take that off. And then it looks like she has her hood up, actually. And then we get that generic, like, spider Gwen look. So you get that. The lines look really crisp. Like, they're, uh, there might be a little, yeah, there's a little mess up there. But it's not going to bother me a whole bunch. You get a little bit of paint splotches in there, but it's not, like I said, it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch. Then here's the back. The lines are really crisp here, especially at the hips too. And then you get that inner like elbow piece here where it's pink and then you get that blue webs around there. Same deal on the other side. And then her legs are just black and then you get the, like the little ballet shoes slippers here. Um, and yeah. And then it wraps around her ankles and stuff like that. But I like the blue for this. Um, and then we'll go. And then for the eyes too. You got uh, the blue eyes. They're actually really good. So they did a good job on the head sculpt for this. Um, so let's go over articulation real quick. So her head can hinge down that far. Up that far. That actually is really far. That's really good. Uh, she can look left and right. She can do a head pivoting. Her shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees. Her shoulders can do a 360 rotation. She's got single jointed elbows. It goes past 90 degrees, so that's good. And then you can do rotation around there. That's good. Um, her wrist can hinge down really far. And then up that far. That's good. 360 rotation around there. She's got diaphragm joints, so she can go forward just like none for because of the the top torso here is a little bit smaller and then back just a little bit it's actually pretty good though so that's good uh she can do 360 rotation around there she can go side to side a little bit uh her legs can kick out that far out really far so that's good backwards not a whole lot thigh cut double uh, double jointed knees oh, oh come on there we go that's good and then you get the shin cuts here uh, her ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And just for a comparison of the head sculpts that they used for the last uh, Into the Spider-Verse 2-pack with Miles Morales, they were god-awful with the representation of the movie. So here's the one that we got with the 2-pack, and then here's the one that we got for the actual movie. Um, so yeah, they disappointed a lot of people with this head sculpt. It kind of made me a little bit mad because it's supposed to be based off the movie, but they didn't choose the head sculpts correctly. Just like the Miles Morales uh, figure that they did too, which I went over. But yeah, and I, I preferred this one. Um, and then here is the other Spider-Gwen figure here next to her. So yeah, you can kind of tell the difference here. So the black is a little bit more shiny on this one. Uh, you can see that the mask, her eyes are w faded out as they go and it's crisp in the inside. And then the hood is a separate piece, which I don't really like. Because then if you have it too far back, it just looks weird. And it's like super flimsy, so you can't really get it perfect. And then her like elbows look a little bit weird. They look like they're about to pop out or whatever. And then, yeah. And then, yeah, you can kind of see the difference with the body mold too, for sure. So like side to side here, you can definitely see the difference. So yeah, I preferred this one because it's way more accurate, I think. So yeah, I'm not sure if you're able to, but you could probably switch heads. I'm not sure. 
No, you can't because the peg for this, uh, the older version is super small, whereas the whole, uh, the ball for the last the newer one is that big. So yeah, you won't be able to switch out heads for these figures. But besides that, that's all I've got for the review. I, like I've said, I prefer this one over the older version of the spider Gwen figure. Um, and yeah, I, I love the figures that, I mean, the, like the uh, accessories that they gave us, like that spider ham. I wish they, he had a little bit more articulation like this one, but I understand why to make it more like a movie accurate figure or statue, whatever you want to call this thing. So, um, but yeah, that's all I've got.